Today I'm going to show you how to make invisible ink using turmeric, sodium bicarbonate or baking soda, and some isopropyl alcohol, which are all things you can probably find in your own house. Now to make my invisible ink, I start by getting two beakers or cups or bowls or whatever, and in one of them I'm going to dissolve about a tablespoon of my sodium bicarbonate in some water. In the other one, I'm going to dissolve some turmeric in isopropyl alcohol. Now you're going to want to stir both thoroughly, the bicarbonate because it's kind of hard to dissolve, and the turmeric because it actually contains a chemical that we want to extract. This chemical is called curcumin, and it's what gives turmeric its unique yellow color. Curcumin itself is pretty insoluble in water, but it's very soluble in alcohol, so after a few minutes of stirring it should be mostly extracted, and then I filter it to collect my yellow curcumin solution. It can actually take a while to filter, so while it's filtering, I write my invisible message with the sodium bicarbonate solution on plain white paper. The paper is allowed to dry for about 30 minutes once I'm done writing my message, and then I can reveal the message using the curcumin solution. This works because curcumin is actually a naturally occurring acid base indicator that can be two different colors depending on whether it's acidic or alkaline. In acidic or neutral environments specifically, curcumin exists in its yellow enol form. However, when exposed to a base like sodium bicarbonate, curcumin is deprotonated and turns red. This is something that can be demonstrated with any number of naturally occurring acid base indicators and I actually originally considered making this video using red cabbage, but I figured the average person would more likely have turmeric than a red cabbage lying around. And yeah, that's pretty much the entire process. Um, do keep in mind though that the message will get more pronounced the longer you let this sit around. Um, it might be kind of faint at first. And I also want to note that I did this last one using sodium hydroxide, which is a much stronger base than sodium bicarbonate. This is why the message is a lot more vivid a lot more quickly, but I don't recommend using sodium hydroxide as it can be pretty dangerous. As a final note, I want to apologize for the quality of the video and audio here. I'm working with a new camera, a new microphone, and all the software that goes along with them. But this will resolve in time, and you just gotta bear with me. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this, and if you want to see more like it, consider giving me a follow.